Pete Moore, Gunmark TV. Um, I was talking back through the our old videos we did, and I found one I'd done on my Remington 870 pump action shotgun, um, probably about four or five years ago. And in that time, it's got 7,000 hits. Okay, not a huge amount of hits for something as sort of, you know, well known and there forever as an 870, but a lot of positive comments about the gun. And I was just surprised by the number, because often you don't get that sort of thing on, on what is technically an oldish type gun. Um, back then, I'd just had the guns tweaked. I'd put some new furniture on it and also had it um, Cerakote bird bronze finished because it was looking a bit tatty. Um, and so the gun was pretty cool, I must admit. I really liked it. It's, a, it's nine shot plus one, 26 inch barrel multi choke. Since then, I've upgraded the gun a bit um, for various reasons. So let's have a look at what I've done. First of all, the original Blackhawk comp stock has gone. It's a recoil stock. Basically, the butt's in two sections and the front section, which keeps attached to the receiver, recoils into the rear, like butt pad section. And there's like a bell crank system that does reduce felt recoil when firing heavy loads and slugs or just generally shooting. Because a pump, unlike a semi-auto, um, they're all about recoil. Uh, Semi-autos tend to soak up recoil a little bit better. And up front, so I had a rubber Hogue 4 which is quite nice. But I went back to Blackhawk, and uh, as well as doing the comp stock, they do the um, this tactical style stock, um, which is basically, as you can see, an AR-15 style. And they do an accompanying forend as well. But let's look. So this is the butt section. It's AR-15 style. So adjust the length of pull, and at the rear is a very big honeycomb type recoil pad. Um, which I, I, I don't doubt does help to soak up the recoil. Uh, you have a pistol grip and it's this section here that attaches to the gun and the other section um, basically recoils. So, but this has changed originally because the original of tactical stocks they made for these guns, they had a double system. They had a bell crank in here and also an inertia block in here. The new ones simply have a, a heavy spring in the buffer tube and it does certainly show up a difference in recoil effect. But the um, nice thing about it is the pistol grip gives good control. You can adjust it up and down. I have found since growing a beard that this bit here is a right beard pincher. And I've also had people that haven't got beards just get clipped by it. So what I do, I just tape it up when I'm using it once I've got the length of pull correct. Um, it's one of those little things. But the pistol grip is, is really nice. This forend is quite long, as you can see, textured for grip. And also, it's got like a sort of a, a fat bit at the front, and it's almost acts like a hand stop, which is quite useful on a pump action gun. Uh, there's a lot to get hold of, and also you can put Picatinny rails on it. If you see here, I've mounted a, a green torch on it um, for night stuff, because that's quite good. Uh, you take it off, you can put it underneath, it doesn't really matter, you can, or you can just put a, put a forward grip underneath. But and from the point of view of pump, it's a lot to get hold of, it's really nice. Um, also what I've done on this side, I've got a side saddle mount, um, beloved of the old practical shotgunners. This is a, this Velcro's arm, but it holds six rounds um, of whatever you want. They're good for a quick top up, or for instance, if you're out potting things with bird shot and a fox comes along, you, you've got some you've got some double A's or some double O, uh, triple A's and double O bucks, you can quickly swift them in, which is quite nice. Think about optics, uh, originally I had a Picatinny rail on here, but the problem was, because this gun is very old, the scope's on one bit, the barrel's on the other, and I noticed that zeroing and holding zero was a little bit hard for slug. So what I did, I got a sun rail, it's called a sun rail, it clamped straight onto the um, ventilated rib. It was originally longer, it came back here, but, but there's so much flex on it, I cut it back, um, so it's now very solid. And on this I've got a aim, new aim point acro, um, which, you know, you don't have to have a, a red dot on your gun. Uh, sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're not, but I just put it on because I quite like the thought of it. And, you know, you, you can pattern the gun with, with different loads and work out roughly where you're going. Not essential, but quite nice. But that's it. Um, I think it looks really cool. I'm very happy with it. And it's given the old girl yet a new lease of life. Um, however, I've been shooting this. Um, a colleague of mine was shooting it a few weeks ago and I was filming him in slow-mo. And uh, I noticed something very interesting, which we'll see later on, is that this stock obviously flexes under recoil because it's polymer and it's tubular. 
Um, but I didn't quite realise how much it does flex. And have you ever seen a picture of those salmon leaping back up the rivers in Scotland to go and spawn? Um, you could actually see, apart from the fact you could see the receiver section recoiling into the butt section, which is quite normal, you could also see the whole thing bending like that. And if you look down from the top, flexing left to right, which, as I noticed in the video, also affects aim as you shoot. And the, sort of, the back end sort of does this and it flops about. And it's all very quick, you don't really see it. But you can actually see the gun barrel sort of pitching left and right as you shoot. So we'll, we'll do that again slower. But say, this is my 870. I love it to bits. Um, I think it's the oldest gun I still own in terms of kit. And uh, I just think that the, the addition of a few bits and pieces um, certainly make me feel happy and I think makes it generally more shootable. Go. Okay, that was a bit of fun, really enjoyed it, as ever. Um, right, so if you like the video, comment, tell your friends, share it, and go on the website, uh, gumup.net, to uh, read more or see more videos. Um, and as usual at this stage, I always say, don't forget, if you want to contact me, it's my email. Since then, um, Aceville has changed its uh, computer systems, and the address I've been quoting up until now is now, um, should we say, defunct. So if you need to contact me via email rather than on the, uh, on the website, then don't use pete.more at aceville.co.uk as that is now gone. Instead, use pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. And as ever, if you do, I'll get back to you and hopefully we can get some more stuff going. So, good shooting.